It's an unusual view of the pyramids, not because of the angle or the weather, but because there are no tourists. Egypt's most iconic tourist site is unusually deserted, yet another casualty of the political unrest which has dominated Egypt's agenda for the past 13 days. Normally views like this would be filled with thousands of tourists in their coaches, but now most of the area is empty. The pyramids have been closed and most of the tours to see them cancelled. Fencing surrounds the site to keep people out. For the tour guides, shopkeepers and other members of the tourist trade who rely on the pyramids for their living, it's a tough time. Usually these days there are many tourists doing this tour, going on carriages and visiting the pyramids from the back and taking some photographs. But inside there is nobody except the police and the army. Tourists are thin on the ground anyway. Many have flocked to the airports trying to get out of the country as the political situation became increasingly uncertain. But Giza's pyramids are 15 kilometers from the chaos of Tahir Square and well away from the epicenter of the demonstrations. Many have flocked to the airports trying to get out of the country as the political situation became increasingly uncertain. But Giza's pyramids are 15 kilometers from the chaos of Tahir Square and well away from the epicenter of the demonstrations. While local traders mourn the loss of the usual bustling trade here, for the romantics amongst the smattering of tourists left, it's a rare opportunity to see the pyramids at their atmospheric best, and perhaps as they were originally meant to be seen. The pyramids at their atmospheric best, and perhaps as they were originally meant to be seen. Penny Tweedy, Reuters.